Okay, we're here with Gennaro Gomez. Gennaro, April 12th, fighting? April 12th. Tell us, man, how you feeling going into this fight? Where you at? I'm feeling good. Camp is going great. We're doing a great job, and I'm excited to get back in the gym, in the ring. What do you, you want to see from yourself in this fight, man? What do you, you want to do in there? Like, like, this fight? Yeah, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to impress. I want to do my... I want to do what I've been training for, yeah. and I want to impress all the other people that's going to go and the people watching. What What does Hanaro Gomez train for? What do you train for? Do you train for the knockout? Do you train to go rounds? What What do you look to do, man? I train to win. Yeah. I train to win, and I train to to have a great future. Yeah. To be a legend, to be known. Yeah. I train. Obviously, I like the knockouts, and. <clears throat> Well, I never, I'm not. I'm never thinking about the knockout. Yeah. If I say I can get the knockout, I'll just go for it. Yeah. Um, how do you feel now as a pro, man? You've had, you have all these fights under you now. How do you feel now as a pro? Do you feel you're t starting to settle down? Oh um, yeah. Now, now I got used to it. You know, I was in a, I was ranked number one the whole nation before I went pro. Yeah. Before I got signed with Golden Boy Promotions, and uh, I was really active. Mm -hmm. I was really active. I was fighting just maybe. 30, 30, 30 times a year, mm -hmm. and um, this first two years were was an adaptation for me for, mm -hmm. for the professionals. Yeah. Fighting every two months, once yeah. once every two months, and now now now, I think I'm gonna be more active. I'm used to it now. I'm adapted and, and I'm feeling I'm feeling better and better every every day. How does it, with saying that? How does your training change? Do you have to change your training now as a professional? Do you have to change it in some way? Well, it's more responsibility, uh, responsibility, you know. Mm -hmm. And in the sense of what, of like, of like, how is it more responsibility? Um, in the sense of that I'm fighting for a company. Uh -huh. I can't, I can't lose. Yeah. I can't lose. That's not There's that pressure. Yeah. It's not a pressure because uh -huh. it's never been a pressure for me to uh -huh. to lose or win. I know I always, always come like a winner. Yeah. But it's a, it's kind of a pressure yeah. in a way of if I lose, it's gonna make me look bad. Yeah, make the you know, company look make bad. Make the company look bad, and yeah. I don't want that. I just want Golden Boy Promotions to like have good. another champion right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about champions, man, your stable mate Canelo Alvarez, he's set to take the stage on May 5th against Gennady Golovkin. Yeah. What do you make of that rematch, man? What's gonna happen? That's, it's gonna be a great fight, you know. I yeah. think it's gonna be more action. Yeah. Both of them, they know each other, and they're gonna go at it. Yeah. Let's, I go for Canelo, but Triple G is dangerous. Let's He's a talk, great fighter. Let's talk to your pops. Pops, ¿cómo ve, cómo ve la, um, la pelea entre Canelo y Golovkin? ¿Qué va a pasar ahí? La, la eh, la Ajá. Pues, sinceramente, eh, eh, mi respeto para los dos boxeadores, Ajá. pero yo, yo miro una pelea muy, muy pareja. Uh -huh. la, ¿Cuál? ¿Como la primera? Eh, como la primera, claro, sí, Ajá. Claro. mucha gente me está diciendo eso. Sí, claro, sí, me parece que va a ser casi igual, a, porque los dos son, son buenos rivales, buenos boxeadores y, y tienen potencial los dos. Usted, la situación entre, entre Canelo y la Nevada State Athletic Commission, ¿cómo ve usted eso? La situación de, de, del dopaje y todo eso, ¿cómo lo ve usted? Pues en realidad muchas veces uh, uh, escuchamos cosas, pero no sabemos la realidad, uh -huh. entonces nomás más nosotros no quedamos Hay, con, aquí no buscar ¿eh? no que no jugar a nadie uh -huh. por qué porque eh, eh, muchas veces nada más hay que saber escuchar ¿no? uh -huh. what, what do you, how do you feel about that bro that situation for Canelo oh about the doping yeah yeah, thing yeah. that was coming out yeah yeah uh, I haven't put attention to it a lot uh -huh. but what can I say is the meat yeah it, it had happened before with other fighters yeah it does um, it's just the meat. Yeah, yeah. And nothing, nothing. You know, skills is skills. Yeah, yeah. If you're a bone fighter, you're a bone fighter. It exactly. don't matter if the guy has stairs, he has, I don't know, been doing some, a lot of weights or doing whatever. Yeah. Skills is skills. And boxing, is a, it's all about head head and skills. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Be smart. Kanadi went as far as to even call Oscar De Leo a cheater. That's your boss, Golden Boy Promotions. Man, how did you take that when you called Oscar De Leo a cheater, Hall of Famer, six division world champion. He's everything a boxer can be, but that, you know, a cheater. Yeah, no, I don't think he's cheating. Yeah. I don't think he's cheating because it's just something that happened. No, 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 Oscar. Oh, Oscar, oh, Oscar he's Oscar called Oscar, Oscar a cheater. You know, a he, cheater, yeah, because, why? I don't know, he just called Oscar a cheater too. He did? Yeah, what do you think about that? Well, I don't know why he called him a cheater. What was yeah. the reason? Because Canelo oh. cheated. Come on, Vistazo. Cheated. Gennady. 
Gennady is también está. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe, maybe Gennady is getting a little bit nervous. Yeah. Maybe he felt Canelo the first time. He's yeah. getting nervous. <laughs> so I'm trying to get some. Some trying to find a way out, maybe. Trying to find a way out, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully not. I want to yeah. see the rematch. ¿Cómo ve usted eso de Canelo que también acusó a Oscar de la Hoya que fue diez veces campeón, um, seis, seis divisiones y um, también lo acusó de ser de ser de ser trampa, de ser chirión. ¿Cómo ve usted? ¿Cómo ve usted eso que acusó a Oscar de la Hoya? Oscar es todo menos eso. Nosotros sabemos. Yo tengo un respeto para Oscar y. Uh -huh. Siempre lo he seguido desde casi de sus amateurs y lo he visto una persona muy, muy derecha, muy noble y hasta la fecha me respeto y un saludo para él. ¿Qué le dice a Gennady por decirle a Oscar de la que es chido? Que, como... que eh, hay que tener un poco de respeto y, y ser profesionales y, y saber qué es lo que hablan. Las words to your fans, man, tell them what you follow you. You can follow me on Instagram, Genaro Gámez, Snapchat.